what is it? Mm. <laughs> so double four times eight times 16 times yeah, 32 right. times yeah, more, yeah. like better, more yeah, efficient. Yeah. It's definitely a bit more worrying than it was before that. How can we make sure that the AI itself works mm -hmm. correctly? It's Test Guru TV time again, and the question of the week is How AI will affect testing? Wow. The dude sitting next to me, ultimate champion of testing, Jani Tuna Haikala. Hi there. And here next to me is Antti Niittuvita, a tireless testing advocate, a trainer, a public speaker, and an author. Welcome to the show. Welcome. So the question is about AI in testing. Yeah, easy one. Uh, wow. Let me get my crystal ball, <laughs> yeah. and, and we will see. It's, it's easy, easy to answer. Everybody knows knows what's going to happen. So, uh, won't be any surprises there or anything like that. So, yeah, yeah I, um, I think we will handle this in five minutes and move on. Yeah, yeah, that's true. So, in the end, uh, all software testing professionals will be jobless. It's only a matter of like mm. time span mm. to me, mm. and that's the answer. <laughs> Surprise, motherfucker. So if you're someone who wants to grow as a testing professional, you want to reach the next level, I really invite you to join the Test Guru Insiders, Prove That Guru slash Insiders. As an insider, every week uh, you will get new Test Guru TV episodes from my inbox to yours before anybody else does in the world. And in addition to that, you will get a small book bundle about software testing principles. And in addition to that, you will get the opportunity to join the Insider Live shows uh, every month where we do small live seminars about software testing, different kinds of topics of software testing. So you want to join these insiders. Please come, prove the guru slash insiders and invite your friends to... <laughs> You're taking it a bit further than I, yeah. I would have. Yeah, it uh, may take like some years, like tens, uh, like maybe, you know, who knows what the time spin will be. Uh, that, that's I believe a, that it will I happen. I mean, so. yeah, yeah, obviously with um, chat GPT and things yeah. going on uh, as of late, um, it's definitely a bit more worrying than it was before that. Um, still, as a tester, when when you know, for example, personally, when when you know, I've been working as a tester and have reported loads of bugs during the years, over the years. So um, quite often you hear these comments from developers. Well, it's working fine in my environment, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, why would the user do that? It's not planned to be used like that. Mm -hmm. Steve Jobs said at once that you're holding it wrong <laughs> regarding a phone. Um, then there's obviously the classic. Uh, it works as specified. It's not yeah. a. It's not a bug. It's a feature. In that regard, I think when we are talking about exploratory testing and you know more advanced mm -hmm. testing, I would say. Uh, Still, I'm not that worried about that because there's definitely that human side to it, mm -hmm. uh, where you actually you're not only testing if it works as planned, but you're also test testing if that plan actually corresponds to the way of using the expectations. Uh, the users are just really, really, really good. Yeah, uh, in in you know coming up with different ways of using that you didn't really expect. Yeah, I get that. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. And I, I would say there is like this like a difficulty or a hurdle to hop for mm -hmm. AI, kind yeah. of like true, true kind of an AI that that would like be able to creatively solve problems and stuff like that. So yeah, yeah. Uh, the one hurdle is is that a lot of software that that we test, not not all of mm -hmm. it, but mm -hmm. a lot, uh, is used by humans. And and when yeah. when we test as humans, we are always at the same time when we use the software, we are observing how we feel. So mm -hmm. I feel confused. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I feel yeah. frustrated. Yeah. I feel I'm observing my emotions, and that's mm -hmm. something that's really hard for exactly. an AI yeah. to yeah. observe. Yeah. Uh, at least for now. So we we never. Know Know what will happen in the future, but at least now it is right, really hard. Right. So, in like yeah. this, this kind of like data analysis, kind of logical approach, AI might be like really, really valuable uh, yeah, way yeah, yeah, to approach yeah, software testing. Yeah. But then, when you when you think about like this human side, then it's really difficult. And and I think the like my original answer that eventually it will happen. There are different things that will happen, like in a short 
time mm-hmm. span, you mm-hmm. know, yeah. and, and, yeah. and then um, there, there are different things that will take a long, long time. Uh, um, exactly. And one yeah. of the things that yeah. when I was in Nordic Business Forum, like in, in last uh, autumn, like was it in September, I guess, uh, 22, um, and there was one of these like <laughs> curious talks about AI in different kinds of like industries. And, and one of them was, was, was the medical industry. Yeah. And what's interesting is that, that um, uh, the thing that doctors do, they, uh, you know, they observe, you know, your symptoms and make decisions that right. this is probably what, what ails you. Mm-hmm. Uh, that kind of a, a process, what doctor is doing, like the physician, mm-hmm. um, that's something that an AI seems to be doing pretty accurately and well. Yeah, uh, and it was it actually that you know, AI probably does it better than... Yeah, yeah. and it actually yeah. probably does it better. Yeah, And at the same time, the thing that nurses do, you mm-hmm. know, they, 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 you know, take your blood tests and, you know, care for you and, you know, explain what's exactly. happening and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. That's yeah. really difficult to replicate for an AI. Mm. So, you know, this analytic kind of an approach that's yeah. easier yeah. and then yeah. the human side is more difficult. So I, I think like it's it's a matter of, of what you're doing yeah. and what yeah. you are talking about like in AI in testing. So yeah. yeah. And, you know, yeah. In, in regards to testing, I think it's pretty safe to say that one immediate or quite quickly uh, happening effect would be, mm-hmm. uh, you know, test automation and whatever it brings to it, and you know, improving the uh, quality of uh, test automation, uh, the coverage of test automation, stuff like that. I think in that area, there's going to be quite quite quick uh, changes. And yeah, improvements. And, yeah, and and this leads me to think about like this, like speed of disruption. You know, mm-hmm. um, uh, for if you, if you think about how long did it take for, for example, new innovation like television reach one million users mm-hmm. it was like like a long, long time. Yeah, yeah, but but when you look at Instagram, it took a few weeks mm-hmm. um, and and or a few months, I guess. Yeah. Um, and, and you know TikTok even faster. Mm-hmm. Uh, Chat GPT. Um, I'm not sure what the number of days was to reach one million users, but that was fast. So, it was, yeah, yeah. So, um, so new things are always penetrating the market faster than before, mm-hmm. and that that's the thing that that we as testers should be a little bit concerned or aware of, uh, in a sense yeah. that that we. Uh, should be always scouting for new solutions. Um, mm-hmm. Like like the chat GPT, is, it's really interesting. Before that, there was nothing. And suddenly in a few weeks, there was like this huge thing that you can use to generate testing data mm-hmm. and, you know, SQL, inge- uh, you know, and you can like fill up your database with what it does. And, you know, you can do like a ton of stuff as a tester with the aid of a chat yeah. GPT. Yeah, right. Um, and, and that may happen in some other area of testing Pretty quickly when it does. Yeah, but we have yeah, no yeah. way to, like, no other than the crystal ball. You know. Um, yeah, to yeah, know yeah, when it yeah, will yeah, yeah. But so, yeah. then, then in regards to to test automation, for example, mm-hmm. and whatever uh, you know, development there might be due, due to AI, I think there's also risk to it because it might give you a false sense of security. Mm-hmm. Can we have this much more automated testing now? Mm-hmm. Uh, we don't need anything else. It, it's going to be enough, and sort of. It, I, I think even to the, the, this day, people often forget about the human side of things. The, the testing is heavily focused on, on technical things and and you know proving that things work as as we have planned. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, uh, running test cases and definitely manual uh, test case execution. I think that's going down and yeah, that might be going down really yeah. fast and re- replaced with test automation but then to think that that's enough in terms of testing I think that's that's really risky because yeah, that, that yeah. human side that we have been talking about now and quite often before yeah, the creative problem that, that's, solving that's, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That, that's, that's sort of something that, that, that I, I'm fearful that it is forgotten yeah it will take yeah. a long time yeah yeah, yeah. 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 Um, the, one of like the principles that I've been like really interested about, not necessarily in in relation to AI, uh, is is this like 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 growth exponentially, mm-hmm. and and you know things things like 
like um, these new technologies, data driven stuff, like they they uh, abide the more slow. And what's re- like really interesting, like um, I read about this human genome project where where you know this this project was set out to map one human genome in a span of ten years, mm-hmm. and and. And at the threshold, at the milestone of like seven years, they had been able to, um, you know, like uh, like map something like 20% of the genome and like three years to go in the project. And everybody was like, this is a disaster. The project is going, it's like wasted millions and you should like end the project and return the money to the, uh, you know, funders mm-hmm. and stuff like that. So it's not going to happen. And and then there was this like one guy who's like, uh, who's now, I, I think he's working at Google, Ray Kurt- Kurzweil. Yeah, and he says that that yeah, that project is going to succeed like never before, <laughs> and probably ahead of schedule, because like he noticed that 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 when you are like, uh, like like progressing in a project like this, it 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 goes by the Moore's law. It it doubles in its efficiency every like certain amount of months, like thirteen right. months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you were only one or two doublings away from really succeeding with the mm-hmm. project. And sure enough, it it the human genome project was was like wrapped up in like nine years or something yeah, like that. Yeah. Not re- really sure about the real numbers. You mm-hmm. have to go Google and go mm-hmm. check it out on Wikipedia. Yeah, yeah. But anyways, uh like like for example um, like this um, AI driven driving, you know, self driving cars. Yeah, that's something that that you know follows the Moore's law. It's like it's every something like 12, mm-hmm. 18 months, it doubles in its efficiency and performance. Yeah, and 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 that's like incredible amount of doublings that, that you can actually like. It's only like two or three doublings away that that you are yeah, already like yeah, outperforming yeah. anybody else in. The, in the that world. that's interesting because that brings me to actually, uh, I think maybe maybe an indirect effect to testing in terms of how will AI affect coding. Mm-hmm. We, we've seen quite a few examples in the recent weeks or months uh, with ChatGPT mm-hmm. yeah. being pretty good and fast in, in coding. <laughs> and what? how will that affect uh, the industry? What will happen and what w- that would mean then mm-hmm. to testing. So it doesn't necessarily directly change testing, yeah. but whatever happens in co- coding might affect that. So it's probably going to be faster. Yeah. But is it going to be better at least right away? Yeah, that, that's a question. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, it's one thing to make, you know, one one code snippet for, for some specific purpose, but when we're talking about larger systems, mm-hmm. it's going to be different areas that should be communicating with each other and working working yeah. together so you know is it all going to be positive right away probably then not, obvi- yeah. Yeah. yeah and obviously there's also the what what you mentioned the the doubling speed yeah it's going to just accelerate and w- does yeah, it so, does it bring so, chaos or does yeah it bring- so the performance of chat gpt for example it may double like every nine months yeah so yeah so few doublings from now where are we at? So yeah, and, in, and you know, I mean, of, you know, for example, there's coders. already talks yeah. of GPT-4, yeah. which is, is supposedly superior, yeah, yeah. To, to the current ver- version. So, so yeah, it's it is really interesting. Yeah, curious to see. But anyways, I I, I believe that these kinds of technologies they they double pretty fast mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, in their performance. So. If it's it's nine or fourteen months, yeah, so it, yeah. it's only a matter of like five years, and we've gone through like three or four doublings in this performance of the technology and the quality of it. So, so that is a phenomenal. It's like five doublings. It's like, what is it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so double four times eight times sixteen times yeah, thirty-two right. times yeah, more, yeah. like better, more yeah, efficient. Yeah. So in ten years, where are we at then? Mm-hmm. That's going to be huge, and that is going to impact testing for sure. In in some ways, yeah, yeah, and and probably in ways that we cannot really imagine yeah, right exactly. now. And all of those changes might not be direct, but just yeah, yeah. You know, and, and and the the only way you, you can even res- either like ignore the change mm-hmm. or you can resist the change, but that doesn't like influence you know the change in mm-hmm. any way. Mm-hmm. Change is yeah, going to yeah, take place. Yeah. So the only way that you can actually succeed as a tester and professional mm-hmm. in software yeah. is to learn how to leverage it. True. Learn how to work with a, a, a you know chat AI. You know, uh, in in whatever you do, and figure start to figuring out. And only way to do that is block some time in your schedule to, like, you know, make an account on the chat GPT and uh, see what it can do yeah, within yeah, an hour. Yeah. Just then watch the, the chat uh, with like, it. And yeah, see and what in it. in all of that, yeah. you know, AI taking huge steps. That's that's also 
from testing per- perspective, it's interesting to to think about well, how can we make sure that the AI itself works mm-hmm. correctly? There's surely there's testing in there as well. <laughs> so that yeah, needs to true. be sort of you need to focus on that. A yeah, little the sorry, yeah, yeah, but, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. How are we teaching it? How are we endorsing like right kind of behavior and stuff like that? So it's like yeah, yeah, yeah. and there's. Actually, a quite big moral issues also. Mm, that's true. Yeah. But, but yeah, definitely for for sure in in terms of functionality also. We've been already like answering this question more than twelve minutes. I'm not sure if we can bring any like substance yeah. for you guys in the audience, but but like this is a crystal ball kind of a situation where we're at. So so yeah, my guess is that within ten years, um, like this traditional kind of software testing will be obsolete. That's my guess, and that's going on YouTube now. So we can like in ten years we can go back into this episode (laughs) that is is it number 20 already 20 yes this is oh my god this is episode number 20 so we need to go back to episode number 20 in 10 years and see uh what were our predictions what's your prediction about maybe maybe you should put put, (laughs) maybe you should put a reminder in your calendar (laughs) Mm. first time (laughs) <laughs> uh, just just not seeing yeah uh how i i mean i definitely see uh the test case e- execution manual test test case execution uh going pretty it's much going away it's just yeah. disappearing yeah. pretty fast but then then again uh the need for a tester the need for exploratory testing i just don't see that going away yeah uh Anytime soon. You know, to say 10 years from yeah. now, uh, who knows? Yeah. Uh, I, 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 we I, need I'm your not, prediction. Is it 10 years or 15 years or 20? Uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm saying it, it It won't happen in 10 years. Yeah. That, that's, okay. that's, that's my prediction. That's great, yeah. yeah. In 10 years, we will come back here and see what happened. Are we jobless or not? So Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we will see. Yeah. That, that's a great way. Um, do you feel like we answered the episode? Please give your take into the comments and don't hesitate to hammer the like button in your platform. If you have questions that you wish us to answer, please post them on the comments as well. Please do. We really need those questions in order for to continue. Obviously, if you don't want that for us to continue, then don't, yeah, don't ask, ask anything. Yeah, but, but we would really love for you to send yeah. us some questions. Although, although there have been people who want us to continue, we already have this backlog of something like 40 questions there. Mm-hmm. So 40 more episodes to go, even though even if you didn't ask a question. But but we always prioritize the list. So if you have a question that we find interesting, it will go on the episode. So yeah, Absolutely. not hesitate yeah. to do that. Yeah. And uh, please subscribe, subscribe, please subs, subscribe, subscribe.